Well, I was a Christian minister for many years. I was born and raised as a Christian. And I uh, got to a place in my life that I was just wondering why I'm not coming up to the fullness of the measure of the stature of Jesus, and that's what he said was available. And I wanted to figure out how to do that. And as I started examining other spiritual uh, disciplines, I ran across the, the teachings of the Buddha, and they were so synchronistic uh, to the teachings of Jesus. But he lived 40 years, and he was able to give step-by-step um, -step, uh, methodology for how to retrain the mind so that what you want to do, you do, and what you don't want to do, you, you don't do. And, uh, and ultimately, I ended up uh, just really walking deeply in, in that path. I remember when uh, it came time to really make a, a choice about what label I would, I would uh, carry, and it was not an easy decision for me. But I really wanted a label that represented uh, how I was actually walking out my life, not just what I believed. And so I took my congregation in uh, Washington, D.C. to a, a pastor's, a friend's uh, church, and I said, I have to leave you because where I'm going, I can't take you. I don't know where I'm going. In 2008, I became aware of the homeless issue and uh, wanted to get involved, wanted to help. When I saw the very first child, she showed up at that task force meeting and told her story and it broke my heart. And I went back and I said, I know why I'm here. It's not for the reason I thought. It's for the children. And, uh, and that's what I've been doing for the past two years is working with the, uh, the kids, uh, providing food, clothing, shelter, love, uh, education, recreation, creativity. You know, finding out what, uh, what a kid is good at. And a lot of times they don't even know because they never had a chance to find out. Or maybe they thought they were good at something and the parents said, don't waste your time with that, you know. And so it's giving them a chance to be children, although they're young adults. They need that minute to go back and, and, and experience that, to go forward. Our programs give them a little bit of that. They give them a little bit of home life loving, a little bit of, 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 of you know, learning how to be responsible, um, a little bit of uh, just, uh, learning how to be a citizen in the community. You know, if you see something on the street, don't step over it, even though you didn't put it there. It's your street too. Pick it up. Uh, you know, so they're learning all of these things, and together it helps them uh, grow organically into a, whole, into a whole person, a whole individual. And so people say to me, how many jobs do they get? Well, you know, the thing is, all of my kids could get a job, but can they keep a job? It takes other qualities of character to be able to get a, to keep a job, and so it's uh, we're trying to work with them in those ways that they can uh, become whole, so that they can get a job and keep it, so that they can get into a relationship and really make it work, really give meet the other person halfway. It's so that they can stop for a minute and smell the roses. It's so that they can be uh, uh, have dreams of of being more than just mediocre or ordinary. Uh, our program is designed to do all of these things, and to do it, we have to look at each individual child that comes into the program. Mostly we need funds because we're not funded, uh, you know, and I have to make an appeal every couple of months for, for funding, and, and it always comes in, but not enough comes in. Um, we need housing right now for our kids. Um, we need uh, more funds for our Achievers Academy. Um, we have to pay for our educational platform. It is an accredited high school. Uh, but because we're not public, you know, we, we don't get funding for it. Um, it is needed because many of these kids have you know, been kicked out of school and they're not eligible to go back to high school. Or some uh, 
are not able to function well in an ordinary classroom. Classroom represents failure for them, so they need a different environment and they can be successful in it. Some of our kids are ADHD and ADD, and uh, I mean, you, they cannot sit for six hours going class to class functioning. They have to, you know, they have to have some diversion. They have to be able to go off and play a while and then come back and then they can sit down and focus for another hour. It's, it's learning what will help these individuals be successful and helping them to recognize what their um, challenges are and that it, it's not a put down, it's not a bad thing, it's just the way things are. And, uh, and to give them some devices uh, for um, being able to be successful in life despite their personal challenges.